This video is going to be short. Um, in life, all of us will need connections um, to take our lives to the next place. Uh, while we all bear some individual responsibilities for our own personal success, as gifted as any one of us could be, your drive and your skill set and your abilities should just kiss the efforts of, uh, of those in your network. Uh, we all have connections. Uh, I mean, I, I think before social media, all this stuff wouldn't uh, uh, be as pertinent. I think back in early sales days, uh, you know, we when people were trying to figure out in the eighties when people were trying to figure out how big a person's network was. Uh, a guy, one sales guy, said that he said it as a gauge: how many seats do people put out at a funeral or uh, or at a wedding? And somehow they came out with the number 200. So they say everybody's connected to 200 people. Well, folks, over time, you pick up people. If I go through everybody I've ever worked with, everybody that I've ever sold in sales, everybody I've ever went to school with, everybody I've ever interacted with, everybody I've, I've you know, if, if I've been in sales for 35 years, uh, I've met a whole lot of people. A lot of people. Uh, will everyone be my best friend? No. Uh, somehow in life, you will learn how to become an incredible sorter. Everybody won't. You won't be part of everybody's tribe. Neither will everyone need to be in your tribe. So I'm just saying the world is full of people. We're now living in a world with almost 8 billion people. 8 billion people. And it's amazing sometimes how we look at this person over here that's in our city that seems to have all the right connections. Folks, most of the people that you know, they have a good amount of connections, but their connections are on that side of the town, this side of the town, that lane, that church world, that business model, that occupation, that field. Folks, there's a world of people. Don't ever allow five or six people that you meet, you miss here or there to be in your network and because you feel someone else is empowered. There are people everywhere, uh, unbeknownst to you and unbeknownst to a whole lot of people that can change your life overnight. I was talking to a young lady in a store once and she was very young. And I didn't really want to address her uh, because that's someone else's child. But she just threw my money at me and she's working behind the counter and I couldn't let that go. So I walked off. I was walking almost out the door and I came back and I said, young lady, you never know who comes through your line. By treating somebody right in this line, they can change your life. Folks, you're only one connection away from your entire life changing. You're only one handshake. Uh, 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 there's a noted sales trainer, Brad Lee. He says that the more hands you shake, the more money that you make. I've had guys that uh, in different parts of sales that they always had a problem uh, with me because they said I didn't sit in front of enough people. Uh, I guess they wanted me in the car industry, wanted me to just be as aggressive and talk to thousands of people. This is not my style. I, I uh, did the running after people after a while, and then I found out that I, not standing at the sales door or the showroom floor door, that there are people who know how to network, know how to connect, know how to call, know how to prospect. That's the secret to sales, sales success most time is prospect. How many people can you put in your pipeline? And I discovered that, and I'm just sorry that I, I wasn't more 
energetic to run out to more people, but I have found a system that worked for me. Folks, and then when you add in referrals, I'm personally, just my personal belief at this stage of life, I don't ask anyone for a referral. My goal is to earn a referral. Everyone knows you in business. Everybody knows you have a shingle out. Everyone knows what you do for a living. I think I'm of the mindset, and I, there's a noted sales tra trainer that thinks like me. His name is Jeffrey Gettimer, that he's of the mindset that maybe some of these sales things that we did years ago, maybe that era is passing. People want to be treated fairly. They want to be valued. They want to be listened to. Uh, I, I, I uh, have had times to listen to salespeople uh, presentation from a door. Uh, they don't know I'm listening. But if you monopolize all of the talking, the customer should do more talking than you do. And any great in sales know that the best in sales know how to ask the right questions. There's no one I'm going to sit in front of that I'm not going to. It's a man. I'm going to ask, uh, well, I'm going to ask, what do you do? That's the thing that makes a man come alive. His trade, what he believes in, what he does. He has pride around that. If it's a woman, there are many times if they have kids, they're going to talk about their kids. They may talk about their profession the same way. At what school do you go to? What church do you go to? For people to find you interesting, you got to ask questions about them. They don't want to know anything about you. They don't want to know what you did, all the awards you won a long way back. They don't care about that. Ask about them. If you want to be found interesting, if you want your network to explode, make it about the next man and the next woman and not about you. Folks, look. I'm not, I have a friend and some other people I know that are strongly working the inboxes on social media. Uh, there's a rap song called it Going Down in the DM, but that's about dating and all those things. But there are some quite accomplished sales teams that are really working the direct messages. Uh, an inquiry comes or LinkedIn. There's some people working, you know, when you send me something on LinkedIn, I've never met you. I know nothing about you. And you say, uh, our meeting is at one. Man, I don't know you. I'm not going to respond. The right respect, the right carefully thought out message gets you called back. We're just in a new era, but folks, there are people in the midst of all of these ups and downs in business, there are people making a profuse amount of money. People in the car industry are making money that they never made before because they are charging unbelievable amounts for the car. And guess what? If you want the car, you gotta buy it. There are people finding ways, even in the midst of crisis, to make income. The power of your network. You learn how to talk to people, learn how to value people. You learn how to make it about them and not you. Uh, I, I know, you know, we brag about the 5,000 Facebook friends, but Facebook's algorithms, I have 5,000 Facebook friends on two profiles, but Facebook's algorithms are so wicked that maybe 75 people see my post. So, folks, you got to just think every day you'll be in the uh, networking business. Every day, make it a how can I make this guy's day brighter? How can I make this woman's day brighter? How can I just standing in a line at a store? Being nice never hurts. Folks, look, you have the power to change your life because somebody else has everything that you need. No matter whether you're broke and you're in dire straits, somebody else has what you need. Maybe that smile, maybe that carefully thought out uh, words to that person gets you exactly what you need. Learn how to network. Have an awesome day.